Hello and welcome to Inside Piano Video Tutorials, Federico D'Antoni here. On our last video, we talked about the bebop scale. And how to use it to improvise over a 2 5 1 chord progression. We've also played an unusual melodic minor scale, different than the one on the books. Today's video is about improvising in minor chords, so we'll go over those melodic minor scales in more detail. Before we start, I wanted to thank all of you subscribers for the nice comments and likes, but mostly for remaining engaged with the videos and asking those wonderful questions. Ok, let's talk about minor scales. We have the natural minor scale, we have the Dorian scale, we have the harmonic minor scale, We have the minor pentatonic scale. We have the minor blues scale. Then we have the melodic minor scales. There are several melodic minor scales, and that's why it gets confusing. There's the classical melodic minor scale, the jazz melodic minor scale, the bebop melodic minor scale, and then there are variations of the scales as well. The classical melodic minor scale ascends using the major 7th and descends using the minor 7th. Then there is the jazz melodic minor, which uses just the major 7th ascending and descending. But if we want to improvise fluently, we need to move beyond those book scales and start finding our own solutions. Because when we talk about improvisation, those scales from the books won't help us very much, and I'll tell you why. When we improvise, we need scales that we can sustain playing up and down the keyboard without losing our balance. The problem with the regular jazz melodic minor scale is just like with the mixolydian scale. They are rhythmically odd. They work fine within the confines of an octave. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But when we play past that octave, everything starts falling apart. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. To solve this issue, we have yet another melodic minor scale, the bebop melodic minor scale. The bebop melodic minor scale solves that rhythmically unevenness by adding the minor 7th as a passing tone, and it works great for any number of octaves. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. Let's play it again. This is nice because we play with both the major and minor 7th, which adds that jazzy flavor. But it does not have the major 3rd passing tone, which is another important jazz color we need to use. This is why we need to get creative. I'm gonna show you a variation of the bebop melodic minor scale to take advantage of that major and minor 3rd. In this variation, the scale ascends as the bebop melodic minor does, but it descends as the dominant bebop scale, in this case the C7 bebop scale. This scale is common on the bebop language, but we don't usually find it on books. The great thing about this scale is that it allows us to go up and down the keyboard without losing our balance. Up. Continue going up. And down. Keep going down. The other variation we used on our last video is a variation of the melodic minor scale. In this variation, the scale ascends as the melodic minor does and descends as the bebop scale does, passing through the minor 7th and the major 3rd passing tones. To achieve this, we play the scale up to the 9th, skipping the root and then descending from the root down. Melodic minor up, dominant bebop down. Let's play it again. This scale works wonderful on the way up, and we can also play it up and down the keyboard without losing our balance.
But playing scales is like reciting all the letters of the alphabet. What we need to do is to use those letters to say words. Let me show you what I mean by that. Let's grab a minor chord progression and improvise over it. Let's say G minor and D minor. Our first instinct is to analyze the material we have available. We say, okay, we have the G minor pentatonic scale. We have the D minor pentatonic scale. Then we have the G minor blues scale. And the D minor blues scale. Also, we have the G melodic minor scale and the D melodic minor scale. But really, again, all these scales are like reciting the whole alphabet. G minor pentatonic up, D minor pentatonic down, G melodic minor up, D melodic minor down. Every minor chord shares a relationship by extension with the minor chord found a fifth above its root. In this case, G minor, the fifth is D, so the related minor chord is D minor, or even a D minor 7 if we keep extending. And same thing for the D minor chord. From D minor, the fifth is A, so the related chord is A minor or A minor 7. Now, look what happens when we play the D minor 7 and A minor 7 arpeggio over these two chords. D minor 7, A minor 7, D minor 7, A minor 7, D minor 7. We're still playing the scale, but we're wording it differently, because we're playing chords instead of scales. To make words, we need to break down the scales into chords. D minor 7 broken chord. F major. A minor 7. The D minor blues scale. And we can use the scales to take us from word to word. D minor 7. A minor 7. D minor blues scale. Take us to A minor 7. Scale again. And it takes us to B flat major 7. D minor 7, scale again, take us to A minor 7. All of this can also be applied to a minor blues. Let's play a D minor blues and apply these elements using the same concept. I hope this video was helpful. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, visit our blog, and I'll see you in the next video.